Hello everyone, in the video series of part 66, today we are going to study about instrument landing system. Before going to study about instrument landing system, a question arises that what is instrument landing system? The instrument landing system is a ground-based navigational aid that is used for safe landing of aircraft during poor visibility and stormy environmental conditions. It is installed at each end of runway and uses radio signal for communication with the aircraft. It enables the safe landing of aircraft using digital instruments during instrument meteorological conditions IMC, such as low ceilings or reduced visibility IFR. Instrument landing system basically have two parts. First is the ground part that consists of localizer having ground localizer antenna and ground glide path antenna. And other part of instrument landing system ILS is the airborne part. As you are watching over here, see DI course deviation indicator that is inside the cockpit. And over here, there are the airborne antennas of glide slope and localizer. Let's have brief description. A third part that is actually not the part of ILS and used as an extra feature to improve the range conditions that is the marker beacon. Here is the outer marker beacon. This is the middle marker beacon and here is the inner marker beacon. Whenever, approaching aircraft reaches here, and cross the outer marker beacon, it tells that you are 4 to 7 nautical miles away from runway touchdown point. And indication in the cockpit is a blinking blue color light. When the aircraft reaches near the middle marker beacon following the beam provided by localizer antenna, in the cockpit there would be an amber color light indication showing the distance of 0.5 to 0.8 nautical miles from the runway threshold. Whenever the aircraft reaches the inner marker beacon, that is installed parallel to the runway touchdown point. It triggers the white blinking light in the cockpit. Over here you can see that there is glide path antenna which is situated thousand feet from the runway touchdown and is slightly offset to improve the vertical navigation information. Over here you can see the localizer antenna that is installed within 1000 feet far from the approach runway. It is normally at about 250 to 600 feet. It improved the centerline information to the aircraft. The glide slope antenna uses 328 to 336 megahertz radio frequency range. and also 90 hertz and 150 hertz navigational frequencies. Same as the case with localizer antenna that uses 108 to 112 MHz frequency range. Let us see how the marker beacon information is displayed in the cockpit. Over here, this is an approaching aircraft. It causes the middle marker beacon to flash amber light, indicating that the pilot has crossed the middle marker beacon. When the aircraft was approaching the outer marker beacon the corresponding light flashed and showed the pilot, the position of aircraft. This is inner marker beacon, when the aircraft reached near the runway dot it indicates the position. Here is the course deviation indicator. This vertical bar indicts the runway center line and this horizontal bar determines an aircraft's lateral position in relation to a course. If the location of the aircraft is to the left of course, the needle deflects to the right, and vice versa. Gentlemen. These are the dipole antennas located at the opposite end of the approached runway. Over here, this is glide slope antenna, that is located 1000 feet from the runway center. Here are two beams transmitted, one os the 90 Hz and this one is 150 Hz frequency. When the aircraft approaches exactly in the center of these two beams of glide slope, it will show that the aircraft is exactly in line with the runway center line. This is an overview of modern aircraft cockpit display regarding instrument landing system. And here is the classic course deviation indicator. Here is the marker beacon indicator lights. This is the blue light or outer marker beacon. And beer light is for middle marker beacon. And white light is for inner marker beacon. And over here is the control unit having different functions. That was the discussion about instrument landing system. Now we will see the limit of ends of instrument landing system. ILS is a very costly system, that requires a large sighting area as well as larger antennas. It has a fixed and narrow beam that is the reason of additional delay in landing due to increased hold time and spacing between the aircraft. 
Localizer systems are sensitive to obstructions in the signal broadcast area like buildings. If the terrain is sloping and uneven like in a highly area, then the reflections can cause an uneven glide path causing unwanted needle deflections. This was all about instrument landing system.